Hey, Frenchie, turns out this hookah smoking is a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to High Rollers. I'm your host, Derek Gilman, and together we're going to explore the world of cannabis connoisseurship. The tools, the techniques, the rituals, the details to help you elevate the enjoyment of your cannabis experience. Today, we're going to explore a modern, state-of-the-art interpretation of an ancient hash smoking device. I am pleased to welcome a returning guest here to High Rollers to help guide us on our journey today, master hashishian, hash guru, Frenchy Cannoli. <laughs> Don't laugh when I say that, man. It's true. It's true. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's, it's fun to be here, especially talking about that device because yeah. it means a lot to me yeah. in general. When I reached out to you to discuss coming back onto High Rollers, immediately you're, you're just like, man, I got this new device I want to show you. And uh, I'm so excited to crawl into it today. Um, but before we crawl into this modern state-of-the-art device, um, please give us a little background on the history of the hookah, hookah the... and hash smoking. We don't really know where the hookah was born. It may be India, it may be Persia. Okay. And the first hookah was a coconut and a chillum in a, in a coconut. That was uh, the most ancient uh, hookah. Get out of here. With the chillum that we smoked last time, right? You exactly. know, this, this, this clay, and, straight clay tube. And from tube. this, you had a slowly, slowly an evolution through, uh, through time of the hookah. And there is two aspects of it. There is the aspect of smoking tobacco uh, with a hookah and smoking ash. Now, based on where, you know, based, you know, the hash producing countries or, you know, in the same areas where this, where the hookah came out of, you know, I would imagine some of the first hash being smoked out of a water pipe, it's likely a hookah. Oh, it, uh, I mean, a water pipe, the first water pipe uh, is, uh, is a hookah, it's the ancestor of the hookah, it's the ancestor of the, all the banger and the rig that you're smoking now. So explain to us, how, do, how does this whole thing work? There's, there's a process going on here, there's specialized tools. And this gives it to you, so you have an aluminium chamber where you put your coal. Okay. When you close it, the, the heat is going to be diffused. It's going to heat that chamber and the hot air of that chamber, it's going to do the, the burning. It's a convective heat. It's, a, it's between combustion and, uh, and vaping, basically, because there is no real, real combustion per se, you're going to see. So, so what's the, what is the process here? Show us how this works. So it, it, the process is very simple. You put a lot of ash in a bowl. I like that part. So this is uh, a strain made by uh, two young, uh, a couple of young uh, farmers uh, doing uh, regenerative farming. And uh, it's called serenity. Serenity. I, I don't know the parenthood. Nobody's going to know. It's very, uh, you're going to test it. It's uh, very uh, Afghan, uh, traditional Afghan uh, test. A little uh, spicy and, uh, and earthy. That spicy and, profile is one of my favorite. And a little sweet at the, at the same time. Uh, so where was this grown? Where was, where was this resin? That was grown in Trinity. Okay. And breeded in, uh, in Trinity. 
How long ago did you uh, did you press this up? Maybe seven, eight months ago. Mm. So this is also aged as well. Yeah, yeah. I I, I try to age everything I do at least uh, a few months. And why why do you do that? Because when I press re uh, resin head into a, a mass of resin. It's very different than extracting just the resin from the resin head. In a mass of resin, there is that matrix that created the resin, that the resin and the terpene are, are going to absorb. So I need to leave the time to, of that chemical reaction to happen and the ash to become what it's going to be before I, uh, before I smoke it. So then I put, you put the coal here. I see, yeah. Now the coals that we used here, could you tell us a little bit about? Uh, oh, you want to use coconut coal. You, you need to use coals that do not ignite by themselves like super easy because there is a bunch of chemicals there. And uh, coconut is absolutely the best for that. Okay, so now it's prepped. Now we just need to smoke it, quite basically. So now you need to really pump it hardcore until you can see the red coming out of those little uh, grooves. And then you're going to see the ash starting to melt. When the starts start to melt, you're going to start to really have the taste in your mouth. Sure. And it's going to take a while before you have the smoke coming with the test. We got all this air we got to clear first and get I, that I'm going, curious right? to see how it, uh, how it works uh, <laughs> with that. All right. Uh, is there anything else I need to know before we get? Just, just draw away, huh? Um. Just remember to close it when you don't pull. I'm starting to taste it. I'm certainly, I'm, I'm getting some of that initial flavor for sure. So right now I can see, I'm seeing the resin starting to melt at this point. It's, it's changing from that, you know, that solid form that it started as. It's, and it's starting, starting to, to melt. melt slowly, slowly. It needs to melt a little bit more before uh, you're going to really need to get the, the smoke out of it. All right. I'm, I'm up to the challenge. Hey, Frenchie, turns out this hookah smoking is a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It just starts it up, it is. You know, I got to tell you, so, you know, just watching people smoke the hookah, you know, you see these traditional images of, of, the, of the sheiks, you know, when they're, they're in their turbans and they're, they're, they're just reclining on these couches. And it's just, you got this romantic image of just kind of hanging out, you know, and, and hitting this thing while you're relaxing. Um, it's a bit of a job getting this going. Yeah. <laughs> because, of the, because you need to make the air in that chamber so hot that gotcha. it's melting and combusting the ash. So, so with, this, need, uh, with this special bowl then, is, is it important that it's a continual process? Yeah, you need to pump it up to a point where it's hot. Pumping the hookah. Going to make this thing cooperate, you watch. So I can see this one is, it's, uh, as we continue to work it, I, I can just see those fumes building up. There it goes. I think I'm getting a head rush from just all the pumping alone. <laughs> I have this turp-infused coating in my mouth. 
So I can, so there's a lot of social aspects that go to, you know, smoking the hookah, I could see. You know, there's, there's, there's this kind of, you know, timing we have to do together, you know, making sure that, you know, somebody's either holding it or... That is this Afghan friend that made me smoke my first hookah in their family, in their village, for hundreds of generations, the head of the family brings the hookah every night in the center of the village and they all smoke together. Really? Every night for gen hundreds of generations. The guy, I, the guy couldn't tell me how many generations they had made me ash in his family. In addition to hookah, I think there's some other traditional names for this tool. Nargile. 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 Yeah, definitely seeing more vapor at this point for sure. I think the flavor is evolving a little bit too as well. You have the smoke coming now. Mm -hmm. So it evolved to that other stage. It's still, it has been yummy, but then it's yummy and you start to have like some, uh, some meat with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for then sure. it's like you have that, like you're chewing something, it's so good. Initially, it was it was it was much more floral, um, and now I got a little more of that spice, even a little skunkiness to it. I think it's it's vaporizing more than it's combusting at this point, and the very fact that it's it's not a, uh, a an open flame in direct contact with this hash, it's not combusting. <coughs> it's just you can see this. You, you can see there is no dark. It's it's all melty. Uh no, you what see I when see, when these layer of bubbles just kind of right uh, here at uh, the top. Uh, uh, there is no true combustion. That's why I can smoke that in the house, because there is not that much smoke coming out. When I put the coal directly, even in a warehouse, it's like... Uh, like I, I, we would block down half of the... Uh, it's crazy how much smoke it produces without that. Yeah, no, this thing's working now. And now it's gonna, it can last for hours, literally. Now, I notice as we're sitting here, kind of chatting in between taking our tokes, there's a little bit of vapor kind of hanging out in here. Um, in my experience, you know, from smoking a bong, um, you don't really want to hit that stale smoke sometimes. You know, so is there, is there an, a way to... Uh... Yeah, but you don't smoke a hit. You smoke a ball. <coughs> a bong, it's a hit. Yeah. <coughs> that finish to burn. So yeah, you don't want that smoke to smoke the next one. Here we smoke the same. Now that's a hit. I knew we'd get this thing going. <laughs> hey, I think we're getting some smoke out of this now, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> How long do we have? <laughs> How long are we gonna puff on this thing for, huh? Yeah, this is nice. This is this is a definite. I'm starting to feel it. You know, we spent that initial period getting it going, and while I was getting a lot of flavor out of it, um, I wasn't getting much oh, going no, on yeah, upstairs. Yeah, it's only the flavor. It you, was you all don't flavor. Have much more coming uh, coming out. In the last couple of minutes, <coughs> though. You need yeah. that level of, uh, of temperature so that the cannabinoids start to, uh, to, comb to, uh, to vape, to, uh, to burn. Sure. So what happens, you know, we are, we are going to work the hours through this bowl. What happens at the end? You know, what are you left with effectively? You, How do you know when it's finished? You're left with a perfect resin, high in CBN. Instead of THC, it's been, because it's been in hot so long, it transformed in CBN. I don't know yet how much because I've never, uh, I have not tested it. Sure, but that I, exposure to the heat, you know, converts that THC over. I kept the smoke from every bowl or I give it away to people for, uh, to eat. Anybody with uh, to eat, did you say? Uh, arthritic pain, and insomnia, uh, it works magic. Did you say to eat? Mm -hmm. Really? But like the true medicine, yeah. it's when you eat it, actually. You want to show the, how it is inside now? Yeah, let's have a look-see. So Perfect. that you but can really good... see what the... 
I bet it's a lot hot. Whoa. Look at that. It's all liquid. Can I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. It's crazy amazing. That is outrageous. It's just completely liquefied. It, it's, there it's was liquefied. chunks. There was chunks of hash that you initially. <laughs> it it becomes. I'm a little amazed. I'm it's, amazed. It, that is it, fantastic. It's vape for a better world because there is there is no real combustion here. That's outrageous. We'll put it back on while we got it going. Let's keep let's keep this thing going. We don't want to have to start it up again. That was but, a, that uh, was a chore. You're still gonna have to uh, to walk it up because um, once you've broken that heat uh, cycle, or all right, Frenchie. Uh, so anything else you want to do with uh, you want to show us with this quasar bowl? But I have never smoked uh, flour with it. With cannabis, it should work uh, really fine. We just you want to stick some cannabis in here, some flour uh, from flour. Let me. Take off a little bit of the of the resin. It's even a different color from the last time we looked at it. it, it yeah, it keep uh, it keep eating and decarbing, and uh, that's why I'm be curious to know how much CBN there is now, for example, smoking it. it huh? This could be some real heavy smoke, right? <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, <laughs> it, 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 it should be, but... Um, <laughs> technically. Technically, it should be... Oop. Let me give you a hand. And that resin is so thick, none of it came out. <laughs> that stuff just stuck in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. it just... <laughs> It's liquid only because of that uh, of that heat. So let's try to put uh, some okay. flour in here. All right, uh, I got three flavors here, Frenchie, for you to choose. I, uh, they are all uh, Mean Gene genetics, Ooh. which should make you happy. Oh yeah. Uh, mean Gene's Pina. Mm. Have you ever tried that one? It's oh, that that's pineapple. one of the most amazing ash I ever I ever did. That Pina. The Pina. Oh. <laughs> um, is Northern Lights Haze Lime Pop cross? Mm -hmm. Northern Lights Haze Lime Pop, come on. And then uh, Ghost OG Lime Pop. The Ghost OG Lime Pop. It's going to go really well. This with, one is uh, the most lime of the three for what it's worth. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fun. So you've never done this before? No, and I, I, Since uh, using the quasar I, I wanted to ask the people from the quasar before uh, going it, but it makes sense yeah. that uh, it should be quite an experience too. So that it, if it works like that, then you can mix flour and a little bit of, uh, of ash with it, which would take less time to, uh, to smoke uh, all together and would be really interesting. I like to, to mix up the the flower and the ash, because the buzz are quite different. Yeah, sure. And together, it's like, hmm. Breaking new ground here on high rollers, man. Oh, yeah, no, no, this is, uh, has not been done by anybody ever. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that, cool. I am ready. The lime pop come out on this one, strong. It's funny because that's a story I, I say often. We do not have a vocabulary to describe the terpene profile that we, uh, that we have. And if you have never tried a lime pop, well, it's very difficult to know what it is. So Jean literally bought me a, a, a lime pop and had me eat a, a lime pop before. Because <laughs> 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 it's like, uh, and if you think of it, there is a lot of your strain. The name is something, some type of sweet that you were eating or, or uh, cereal that, that you were you eating when you to. were. But it's like somebody who was, who was not born in America. Well, it's a little hard to relate to, uh, no to it. No frame of reference, right? But it's just a perfect name for that one. 
Because once, because once you do, once, once, you, you, once you have tried the lime pop, yeah, it's totally it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> it's just that strong candied lime aroma. I mean, even with the Ghost OG Cross, it's that lime pop that comes out. Uh, of this oh one. yeah, oh yeah. I wonder what it's going to be like getting it fired up again this time. It's going to be totally different because the flowers are not going to take as long. I'm excited to find out. <laughs> right out of the gate, you could taste it. Yes. That's amazing. It's just this terp infused. It's like a lime spritzer. It's like. <laughs> French, Frenchy. That's so tasty. And you're right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's flowing right now. It only took a couple draws really to get that going. There, there is that, <coughs> those are some bit, thick. Maybe too much coal for actually for the flower, but okay. I don't have taste of burn or. Uh, no, no. It's outrageous. Yeah, people have been asking me, can you, can you smoke uh, uh, extract with it? Yeah. You just don't put three coals, you put two, maybe one. And I think that's going to be the process going forward now, is fine tuning that balance of the heat Finding to the, that the right, ratios, uh, that right? perfect heat. But it's like, the way it radiates, there is a, a certain temperature and then it stabilizes, I imagine. It curious, has those I'm vents. I'm curious to look at the flower when, uh, in, a, in a little bit. Huh? <laughs> in a little bit? After a couple more hits, I think, right? <laughs> We're having too much fun. <laughs> wow. That's better than any bowl. I, I never had that type of terpene profile in my mouth smoking in a normal uh, bonger. No, no, this is, this, this is taking vaporizing to a different level, I think is what it comes down to, you know, because again, it's not combusting. We should have a little look, we should have a look here and see what's going on in that bowl, right? Because it's, it's not combusting. Let's, let me just tilt this over a little. No, it's not. It, it's kind of vaping. Huh? Look at the, the change of color. Of the flower, how much it's, browner it became. Mm -hmm. uh, very much like when you take them off a vape. Uh, yeah, out of a vaporizer. Yeah. You know, the leftovers. That's fantastic and very even too, if you look. That's, you know, a, that's, a nice the, that's the beauty of that tool. It really diffuses the heat so that there is that even air, hot air in, a, in the chamber. Far out. That's a good time. Man, Frenchie, this was killer. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing this <laughs> killer <laughs> device with us. Um, I highly suggest you try this. This is a good time. This is tasty. <coughs> this, the effects are nice as well, okay? I'm getting a nice head effect. Um, not a whole lot of body. I'm feeling some body, but it, it's mostly just flavor and nice up effect. For something that should bring a, a lot of CBN, in fact, you don't have much of a body. And that's a pretty uh, 
Indica, that's uh, pure Afghan. Uh, that, uh, that Ghost OG Lime Pop is, is typically my nighttime medication. It's, it's, it's the end of the day stuff, uh, it is. Uh, um, like this, it's different. That ball is like, uh, it's crazy. This is a lot the, of fun. Those two Frenchies, they don't, they have, I, I try to explain them how much they really brought into my life, how much I, uh, I feel like I owe them. Yeah. And because they're all about, oh, it's so nice what you do for me. It's like, well, it's like I'm not promoting you. I'm promoting what you did. This is the best tool I ever smoked in. But it sure has been a lot of fun. <laughs>